Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another screencast for BTEC Level 2 Extended Certificate in Sports. Uh, today is screencast number 4 and um, we're looking at the structure and function of the cardiovascular system. Uh, this is important uh, principles behind this particular unit because today you're going to label the heart but we'll come to that in a minute or two. Uh, folks, pen and paper ready, pause it as you wish but again it's always to understand the key concepts behind this particular screencast. Okay, let's go. We're looking at the cardiovascular system and the following bits of information will help you achieve P5, but we will go into it further detail in the classroom. So the cardiovascular system consists of your heart's blood that is transported around the body and also your major blood vessels, which again we will learn more about in the body uh, during the actual lesson itself. Okay, so the cardiovascular system consists of the heart, uh, blood, and your blood vessels, which transport blood around your body. Okay, um, you now need your blank diagram of the heart, because you're going to be shown a labelled diagram of the heart, which you need to complete to achieve P5. So here is a labelled diagram of the heart, that you need to pause the screencast now and label the heart as you see just there. There is a bit more to it which we are going to cover in lessons however you need to know the basic uh, structure or the layout of the heart and how the heart is labelled. Okay so pause it now. Okay um, we are now going to look at the basic blood vessels within the body and these blood vessels transport blood um, around the body uh, from or to the heart and in doing this you'll achieve P5. So here are the blood vessels in front of you now. It might be good to actually draw these because in the lesson we're going to understand why some, ha some are bigger than others. So first of all we're going to look at your, your veins and your veins job is to carry blood to the heart. Your arteries carry blood away from the heart and your capillaries are where your uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide which are two gases essential when you exercise when you're at rest this is where they are exchanged so capillaries is where your oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged and that's quite an important part of our blood vessel uh, within the body itself. Now that's kind of really it for today. Um, it's a very, very basic screencast uh, because you'll need to understand the basic principles behind the heart and also blood vessels so we can then prepare and apply it practically in the lessons. Okay, so please bring your notes.